Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt. We've got a very brief ammunition test today in nine millimeter. A follower of mine, Frank, thank you very much, Frank, sent us a box of Simex nine millimeter. This is their defense core. It's completely red, lead free. It's 45 grain, so it should be smoking fast, at least how it claims on the box. While I'm doing all the rambling, you guys can take a look at the macros. Like I said, we only have the one box, so we're going to shoot it against bare gel from our 3 inch, our 4.5 inch, 7.72 and 16 inch into some clear ballistics gel. It's about 55 to 60 degrees outside today. Since Frank only sent one box of our Simex, I think we're going to go right to the clear gel. I can't really run any velocity data off this with one box. I want to make sure I have enough for the test. I have some 10% clear ballistics gel block down there, 6 by 6 by 16. We have a three inch, a four and a half inch, a 7.72, and then the 16 inch. That should give us a good spread. So a three inch will be first. Should be the upper right or upper left of the block. 2110, very really good velocity, and it looks like that bullet made a mess out of our gel block down there. Hold on a second. And now our four and a half inch barrel. Had to change the block around. Not sure how many shots I'll get on one block. Shot way too high on that guy, but 2267. And now our 7.72 inch barrel. Wonder what kind of velocity we'll get off of this. Twenty five hundred feet per second. That is, I think, as fast as our Liberty Civil Defense. And now our showstopper, the 16 inch, I swapped blocks over. This is an ARV-9 from Palmetto State Armory. Twenty-seven hundred feet per second. Woo wee! This is the sixteen-inch, providing a max of approximately seven inches of penetration. We have a really wide dispersion of that jacket happening you know at the four inch mark but usually from what i've read and other experts may agree is that you need those fragments to go as deep as possible you know past the six to seven inch mark to do any real wounding four inches is not enough so then we go over here this was the three inch that is five inches max of penetration right there our 7.72 inch is right there. Again, five inches at most. The four and a half inch was a little high, so you don't see all those gnarly different wound tracks going there, but it's similar performance, very, very shallow penetration. If you have a need for this, maybe against a critter. Here's the base of the bullet that I discovered, just a little copper cup there. Not sure what to think about this one, guys. Definitely not a choice for me. While we have the opportunity, I'm testing some other 9mm today. Let's run one of these through our windshield glass. It's laminated. I think it's quarter inch. It's at 45 degrees in our little rig there. 18 inches behind it is multitudes of gel blocks to try to contain this. Hopefully I don't shoot too low or I don't shoot between both gel blocks.
here's our hole in our windshield glass. Now, this appears to be a non-starter against that barrier because right there at about two inches is most of the jacket. Let me get this gimbal to cooperate. Is our jacket. This appears to be the core or some kind of candy that was inside of the bullet because it's right there. So this is actually the second shot that I took. The first shot was way too low. So it looks to be like there's a little bit of deflection going on there. And, you know, that's three inches at most penetration. All right, I may have found something that this bullet can do. You see right around the eight inch mark, we have a projectile here and a projectile there. But one was fired from the three inch and the other one was from the four and a half inch. We actually penetrated our AR500 Armor Level 3A hybrid. This has the polyethylene in the back. It pretty much just smoked a hole right through it, mainly because of the velocity. So it can penetrate soft armor, but our bare gel performance is very low. Almost better off with one of the solid copper guys over that. We did shoot it against our higher end 3A right here. Our shot was right here from the four and a half inch. It did not penetrate. I would guess that if we got up to the 16 inch, it may. I think that's about all she wrote, folks. Since Frank only sent one box, I didn't have the opportunity to do any chronographing across multiple barrel lengths and we didn't get to do any accuracy. So pretty much we just got right to the gel. We got our results from all four barrel lengths and then off camera, I wanted to see how it performed against level 3A because the bare gel results were very abysmal and it actually performed against our level 3A. Your mileage may vary, but I personally do not have a role that our Sim X ammunition in nine millimeter can fill for me. I wanna see, you know, at least 12 inches of penetration, if not more when we're looking at our pistol calibers such as 9, 40, and 45, even when we've got that rifle-like velocity, I still want to see at least 12 inches. With all that being said, I'm going to close this one out, and at the end of my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who helped make these possible. Number one is my Patreon supporters. Number two is Frank, who donated a box of that for us to test. And of course, number three is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.